to this rock 60 here with stage uh br stage brush but well, pronouncing that right and uh i'm going to be following a walkthrough of this game because i went through parts of this game already and i already got so confused on what i was supposed to do because it's one of those modern games that are like um Okay, it's one of those modern game, modern games that are made in the style of the '90s games. If you don't know what games made in the '90s, it used to look like. <laughs> Excuse me. If you don't know what games that made in the '90s used to look like, they used to look like this. Very pixelated looking, and um, a lot of misdirection of where you're supposed to go waiting for the bus. I believe I can skip this yep I can that's what I like about a lot of these I, I can skip some parts but yeah as you can see this is what I mean games made in the 90s just look like this very pixel pixelated warped textures and stuff like that and a lot of developers now are going back and trying to reproduce this for some reason you know with the tank controls and all that other stuff for me I think it's kind of cool the first time someone tries it but it's getting old for me I think like I think people that have this people you uh, clearly have talent to make games and everything you know but there's just no need to make games from the 90s. Games from the 90s, last time I checked, weren't good. But anywho, um, what this is about, uh, this game is about like a cult. And you're like, um, your young girl that survived the cult. It looks like some, some type of sex church cult and spoiler alerts everyone dies at the end but her so uh you kind of walk you're i'm not sure i'm thinking you're her last time i check it you're the the girl is telling the story and she's like walking back telling everybody including like people who ask about what happened and this disaster because it is a disaster that uh, everyone died in like a fire I believe and there's so, a tape um, desk I just graduated from college you know yeah, I tape decks on the uh, <laughs> excuse me and I couldn't find a job on the tables no or different parts of the environment to tell the parts of the story if you want to really get into it and as you I notice I can't go really too far or do there. very much once the, the tape is playing once again you, you want to play this game to get into the, the tape decks, the, the whole story behind and what's going on in the game. Because the only way the story is being told is through these tape decks. Or small little notes left around by people. And eventually they get longer and longer in length. For me, I'm not too concerned about that. Just trying to figure out where am I supposed to go? Okay, this is the trailer park. Um, I think I was supposed to go somewhere else before this. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna. Cause the 
building like a barn or something I was supposed to go to. One thing I like about this though, even though it's made to be like a 90s video game, is that uh, it has a run button. Most games in the 90s didn't have a run button, so they kind of force you to walk everywhere. And some people said, oh, is it admire the amazing graphics and all that crap? Yeah, no, it wasn't. Because they didn't want you to uh, program a run button. Or it, it would break the game. Which I would totally understand that, you know. But as you can see, even with a run button, it takes forever to get places. Which I try to make it seem realistic, you know. Uh, farm shed, this is it. Nope. Pick up batteries, yep. Yay. <clears throat> Um, shelf, okay. Tape deck. The first time I met Father James, I was immediately filled with a sense of peace. It's hard to explain. I guess he just seemed so sure. He asked if I was a believer. I said I'd been raised Catholic, but it never clicked. There's a reason for that, he said. They've been lying to you, all of them. Wow. And I knew he was right. All right. Um, I don't know if you can notice it, but um, the games get a little darker. And I'm also following a guy because, man, yeah, once again, this is a very confusing game to me. I don't want to be like walking forever. <clears throat> Unfortunately, the guy, you know, they they like doing every little bit of, um, of like uh, what's it called, like trophy hunting. I don't want to do all that. I just want to get to like the main story of what happened here. I guess I could do this. This will be some type of achievement you get. <coughs> Boom. 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 Yay. Brainstorming with the house, something <laughs> didn't feel very useful as a trophy, but all right. I guess another thing too with these type of games, I'm not saying that they all are like this, but um, people have told me that you know, if you're like a veteran in playing video games, and these games are like super easy to get trophies and stuff. So if you want people who just have free time, um then you know it should be very what the in the world it was supposed to be huh weird unless I missed something Are different. Hmm. Weird. Laboratory. Andrew's trailer. Which one's Andrew? Brother Earl. There's nothing in here. <coughs> Whose trailer is this, though? It's best it shut. Just 
one of these bathrooms. Oh, it was. Oh. It's weird. I don't know why would I want to pick that up, but alright. Video games. Video games. Is this dude? Um, <clears throat> I was told it's like a unique trailer, but they look all generic and worn out to me. So, okay, that's a trailer I come back to. Brother Christopher, <clears throat> I do apologize if you hear me coughing a lot. I'm very under the weather. I am trying to beat this in one go, if possible. Oh, shoot, I'm already messing up though. Cause I am already getting lost. Okay, it should have been a unique trailer. Or one that was. I should have seen this one off the back. I don't get it. Did I pass it already, or I'm confused. No. Okay, so this dude has the broken window. Okay, this is it. Uh, oh my god, it's terrible. It's another key. Life with the flock was good. We would meet for morning prayer with Father James in the chapel, then meet for breakfast, and then we'd set off to work for the day. Some of us worked the fields, others worked on expanding the compound. We had a school teacher, we had cooks. In the evening we would study scripture or listen to one of Father's lectures. Then it would be time for penance, more prayer, and then sleep. I slept better those early nights than I had in years. I was home. Do you know how good it feels to find home after so long? I would have done anything for Father. He saved me. Sounds like a person has lost their mind. Yep, that sounds about right. <clears throat> okay, who got key? Key tab. I, love, I, love. I swear I just passed up someone's trailer like that. No. That was a really nice looking trailer, too. Oh, I'm looking at these banged up ones. These banged up ones ain't it. spiritually invigorated by my presence and often called me to the rectory to spend time with him. Yeah, we all know what that means. But I didn't care. I was so honored to be his chosen. I 
not going in the right order, but whatever. I'm learning new stuff. I often helped Viola in the schoolhouse. I enjoyed working with the children. We taught them reading, writing, scripture. Viola was one of the most faithful among us. If Anne was like the mother of the flock, Viola was the older sister. I remember one lecture she gave the children on the nature of hell that was so vivid, so unflinching, it had the kids in tears. Jeez. I told her she was scaring them, and she said, good, they should be scared. Okay, just kids' jackets, that's not gonna help me. Wasteful. Hmm. Padlock. No, why would I need a padlock? No. Zero, six, zero, three, maybe? Maybe? Oh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Keys and stuff. Keys, 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 keys. Uh, I think I can pick up diaries. No. <clears throat> oh, I can go in here. And there's more keys. Okay. Master key, okay. So we have all been given our purposes by the Lord. And if we listen close enough to our hearts, if we pray hard enough, we can feel that purpose coursing through us. To excel in our God given purpose is its own form of cleansing. Some of us are called to labor in the fields to feed the flock. Some are called to train and to defend us. Others to teach our children the true way of things. The Lord calls upon many women to provide succor and relief. Now those so of you if that's what you want to call it, do <laughs> not a sin? I ask you, do you not love the Lord more than your husband? Would you deny I wish the I could skip some of these. I really love. wish I could. I am his flag bearer. AKA, if you love God, you must sleep with me. That's all that means. Sacred place, I don't care. key for that. Yeah, I gotta find the key somewhere else. Um, trailer master. something in here.
to use it on his or hers, I mean. I supposed to know all this stuff off the top of my head or going through the game as normally but supposedly you're supposed to know this stuff like playing the game like the game supposed to give you some uh, hints and stuff like I don't feel like the game was giving me hints at all Where where is this? Oh, okay. I'm gonna keep that one forever. The deceiver changed Father James, though only a few of us seemed to notice. He had new revelations almost daily. Doctrines changed. Actions that would have been terrible sins previously were suddenly permissible, while seemingly innocent behaviors became mortal sin. The others seemed to have no problem going along with it. I wondered if something was wrong with me. Father grew visibly agitated, and as adamant as he was about the sanctity of his new revelations, something was different. He was scared, and that scared me. Okay. Let's get this. Um. <clears throat> okay, what were, oh, okay. I was like, what would I need bolt cutters for? This is exactly what I need bolt cutters for. And there's a shovel to dig up something. to find something to dig up at this time okay whatever I'm gonna just maybe figure it out on my own maybe okay, I'm supposed to find another key that was in like the dark somewhere it's like a pile of dirt I'm looking for FYI dev this you, you gotta get more feedback than what you're giving you know I know people, many people complete, completed this game. Was it last year or whatever the game was originally released? But still, come on. Just, come on. So I'm using a walkthrough and I'm getting confused though. This is it, but oh, maybe it is. You dig a two small brass key inside. This is the brass key. Well, then, okay, I go back to the trailers. Man, if I did something like this when I was in college, the professor would either laugh at me, fail me. Or wonder why I'm in this particular um, major at all. Like, like, what are you even doing here? If I did something like this, but times have changed. Things are different. Oh, it's on the key. Well, in, well, in, well in. But yeah, times are very different. I would totally get laughed at because yeah when things I did in college I was like kind of experimental like this I would just get thrown under the bus by classmates and professors would give me like the whole would you decide to do that I don't know because I'm in college and I could experiment with stuff and 
you want me to think outside the box, not in it? You know. Uh, I don't care about the new notes. What's all this? Hey, Panther, are you in the cold? Maybe, I don't know. He risked his life coming to me. Somehow he could tell that I was wavering. I'm still not sure how. He was from the FBI, he said, and he was here to investigate the group as a cult. When he said that word, I told him to go to hell. I almost went right to Father James, but I didn't. He left me a pamphlet that talked about the signs of a dangerous cult. At first I refused to read it. What was the point? How could that have anything to do with our group? But I did read it, and even though my entire brain was screaming at me, I went back to him. Okay. Um... Trailer Master Key... Da, da, da. <clears throat> I have no idea what to do now. of stuff to do um hold on. no okay so I'm looking or I don't know I think I did everything sorry Vince like you dude you're totally talking to yourself I'm trying to figure this out this is a confusing game to me sense okay I'm following walkthrough again and, and all of a sudden they have like extra keys and stuff and it makes no sense they just stopped at the part where I was at and it's just like boom extra keys and they already crossed the map and stuff hate that in walkthroughs but they just figure out stuff like it's nothing like how you know exactly how to go to this place Is there some? I wonder if I'm supposed to go up here at some point. I haven't been up here yet. second it's extremely confused again yeah this makes no sense why would they go way over to the barn like what indication does that if, uh, would you get to go way over here Where did I get this mysterious key from? Oh my god. I gotta go all the way back across the map. It's ridiculous. What key did I miss? That was just laying around apparently. Apparently there's a key I missed somewhere else. At 
least I don't think I did. Does one see this make any sense? Okay, because it's the only random key I saw. I was like. Unless there's more keys in the trailer I'm missing. Because this doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Like in this walkthrough, this person literally went for one trailer and walked all the way to the barn. Like, I had keys in their inventory somehow. Like, no, that's. I'm sorry, that just doesn't work for me. Oh! Son of a. I'm just terrible at being using my own eyes. This is more keys just laying around. So now I feel stupid now. I gotta walk all the way to the barn. I got the right key, right? A black key with blood on it. Yeah. Sounds about right for the barn. But yeah, this is definitely a 90s game through and through. I don't know why would you want to make a 90s game. I guess you have such nostalgia for them, for the games back in the day. That you're like, you know what? I really want to make one of those really bad 90s games. Yo. Same thing in here. Won't even let me open it. Okay. I can pick up a hex. Nice. I think I remember what that's for. There we go, gang. There we go. Good job. Am I stuck? I'm stuck, aren't I? That's great. Just great. Just, just, just. Just great. I'm stuck. Great job, Dev. Great job. Can I pull the chain and make a difference? Wow. Okay, whatever. Um, fix that. And I'm teleporting up the ladder. Weird. Another key, key to the mines. He called it the cleansing room, where we would exchange pain in this realm for forgiveness in the next. We'd all gather in front of the altar, and one by one we would declare our sins to the flock, each of us given penance to perform in front of the others. Bloodletting, self-flagellation. I saw men break their own bones, and women cut off a finger that had caused them to sin. Okay. It was true devotion, and it was terrifying and wonderful to see. And wonderful? Wow. Please, seriously. It's, yeah, this lady was sick in the head all the way. Okay. Make sure I'm not missing anything, wasting any time or anything. Okay, yada yada. What's out here? That's back where I came. Is this back where I came? There's nothing out here, I don't believe. I think it's automatically closing doors. <clears throat> okay, fire axe. Mines. I wonder if I have like a master key to something at some point. Would be at uh, like through the church or something. Oh no, I did something wrong again. 
apparently it was just to use the axe automatically off of right off the jump was it down was it over here yeah I guessing that would be the mines Modern lighting techniques, so boom, boom, boom. I hope I didn't forget anything before I came down here. I was extremely pissed. Oh, there's no key you're supposed to get. No, you can't do nothing. <sighs> Hate those type of games. Something along the way is supposed to get. <clears throat> that sounds about right. Target practice down in the mines. I don't know how safe that would be. It might be safe, I don't know. Oil can is all I think I really need. So yeah, it's basically one of those games that expects you to explore every little crack and corner. Even though it's kind of hard to see things. If you're going to make a game in this type of um, style. It might have been my fault they found Katie. We were seen together too often, maybe. But how would they know? Maybe they saw the pamphlet? I don't know. I don't know, but I can't shake the feeling that it's my fault. It doesn't matter. They found him. They told us he had decided to leave the flock. I didn't believe them, but I didn't ask any questions. After that, we moved on. It was like he had never been there at all. It scared me, but instead of trying to get away, I just let myself fall deeper in. I did my best to shut out any doubts. It was easier that way. So that was quick. They killed the FBI agent. Made a copy of James's key. I should read that note again. I got your earlier. Made a copy of James' guy, but I think his, his head suspicious. I had to go aside somewhere, go for access to in case something happened. Look in the south for a corner. Find that stuff. Cornfields, we're supposed to find that. Alright. So, if I 
along the blood trails. Okay, yeah, I don't see how those folks go. Just wanna get out of here, dude. Supposed to get out of here again? As turning on a generator seems useless, apparently. Okay, you don't see how that's useful. Okay. Oh, it's a gas leak? What? It's a gas. Oh, fuck you. I'm supposed to know that. cornfield somewhere at night. It's just so loud. It's like louder than everything in the game. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's louder than almost anything in the game. one that looks weird or something. Oh. Did not know I noticed that. Unlabeled. I think that's in the house now. found that it's like a different skybox every time you walk out it's static but it's a skybox Yeah, this has been a lot of walking back and forth, back and forth. But then again, there's been a lot of modern games that have been doing that too. Oh, and it works. Alright, sweet, we're getting somewhere. Don't remember off the top of my head. Got it somewhere. Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Anything that gave me like a a hint that was supposed to be in here. I care about a bed, but of course the dude is in the barn. I don't know. <clears throat> no, I'm used to walk through 
again. Can they seem to just know it just right off the top of their heads? Like, it's ridiculous. There was like a list a set of things you're supposed to do. Like, hey, you're done with this section. Now look for this trailer now. Or help figure out what this section means or what that means. But no, mm-mm. You're supposed to just figure it out. stuff like that. Alright, this is probably a long one. And someone's literally on fire. Everyone's on fire. Jeez. No need to be afraid. We must go through the flames, but the flames will not hurt us. Right. Not our true selves. Our spiritual selves. I know his will, and it's time. This world is molded and filled. It's too far gone. They sent demons to test our resolve. They expected us to give up the fight, but here, today, we proved to all of them that we never gave up. Our faith never wavered. Today, we take our place at the foot of the throne of the Lord. Here now. We'll build the body a little. There's no need for it to hurt. Okay, drink this. Drink this. Pass these around. Things will go a little fuzzy, but then the flames will take us, and we will join our Lord in His heaven. We'll be by His side forever. But Where we go. It's, it's, it's must have been this game is and everything. There's real stuff that actually happens. So. Boy, I love. Why make a game about this? I have no idea. That's when they locked the doors, and then Andrew and Leonard started soaking rags and lighter fluid while I started handing out the cups. Little paper cups full of crushed up quaaludes mixed with lemonade. Father kept preaching as we drank. They lit the rags and put them around the outer wall. Everything caught so quickly, as soon as everything was on fire, and, and people just sat, sat down in it, let it take them. Jeez. I, think that I, I don't know what. I needed to get out. I didn't want to die. I remembered Father's temple, and I ran. Temple. So there's another place I gotta go. a coward because I want to survive.
as if the burning chapel and all the people dying behind me didn't exist. The drugs took over them, and it was all I could do to crawl into bed before I passed out. So this dude had like an underground bunker in the church and stuff. Yeah, he wanted to commit like a multi uh, suicide with everybody. Man, who started our fire? Man, I know you've been through a lot, but we need your cooperation to piece all of this together. Who started the fire? Um, pretty much everyone. Father James is the first is land. Not even the sitting on the floor. Spread. It's floating. So they weren't coerced. No. They were weeping with joy. People were singing. And you? What did you do? I'm pretty sure it's floating. Ma'am? Take them close to the end. Yay! I don't know, Dad. That's what I'm I don't wondering, know. too. You're a smart girl. What were you thinking? Lillian, things are not been that smart. Where are you going? surviving the fire. I don't know. I, I don't. It's so confusing. I didn't want to die, but I feel like I let them all down. Let them down because you didn't save them? Because you didn't die with them? I don't know anymore. Well, listen to me. No matter what, you deserve to live. I promise you. Lillian, you deserve to live. I... I need to go. I, I can't do this right now. I, I can't. It's like the most exciting part of the game so far. Because <clears throat> you're like getting tons of answers and stuff and... I'm sure you don't want to hear me ramble about mechanical engineering for another 20 minutes. Tell me more about you. You study communications, right? Bad job. Pretty sure it's a Jack Daniels. I know it's a train crew. Right off the bat, I'm not pretty much. sure it's supposed to be Jack I, Daniels I or something. Work, so I uh, ended up backpacking through Europe for a year after college. Oh, these supposed to be like a vodka oh, cool. bottle. Oh, it's not to do something like that. Are you supposed to be Hennessy or Crown yeah, or something? Yeah, it was super uh, fulfilling to see all these different ways of life. Really eye-opening. God, that was a long time ago. Everybody just drink the same Man, generic I stuff, jeez. I don't write in the work hours. Working 70, what, 80 hours? You know how it is. Just expect to devote everything to it. It's like a, like a religion. It took me a while to see how messed up it was. Yeah, I can imagine. Super creepy right here. <laughs> you have one unheard message. First unheard message sent yesterday at 7 15 p.m. 
Lil, is, is everything all right? I was trying to get a hold of you all day. Please pick up. I'm worried about you. Okay, just just call me back. Love you. Just notice this car has no side view mirrors. Got pulled over and everything. Here. There's weapons. <clears throat> so I get to shoot to shoot people. Nice. <sighs> really confused on where I'm at. I guess I go the opposite way now. hear music so must be a good thing. Their thing does look different. I remember now. I tried not to. I thought I could move on. Pretend it hadn't happened. But here it is. I'm looking for nice. I was here. We were all here. And now, and now it's, it's just, just me. me. <laughs> that 90 style looking tight touch screen phone. Oh, Lil, Jesus, there you are. I tried to get a hold of you for hours. Where are you? I... I, I had to take care of something. Look, just, just... Are you okay? I was getting worried. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm, I'm fine. Um, I'm heading home now. Tim? There's some things I need to tell you. Uh, yeah, some serious things you need to tell this dude. If he's your boyfriend or your dad or somebody, yeah. I met Anne first, waiting for the bus. Normally, I avoid talking to just about anybody, but she struck up the conversation. She was so pleasant, so confident. She this smiled is the same at me conversation as she, as a kid, she had we just catching up from the beginning of the game, so... She told me she could tell I had a hole in my life. She knew what that was like, she said. She had also had a hole, but it was gone now. I asked her what she was selling, and she laughed and said nothing, nothing at all. That what she had to offer was free for anyone who wanted it bad enough. I asked her what had helped her. This she wouldn't have been a bad Jane. game if they gave clues on what you're supposed to be doing. I mean, yeah, they kind of did in readings and stuff. And, like, obviously, like, scratching labels and stuff on, um, on keys and everything like that. And you, you're supposed to kind of remember what on the, what's on the map. But, I don't know, from what I've been told, this is like one of the best games that this guy has made, or I mean, this person has made, so. Mm. Hour, nice. I was expecting to be a little bit quicker than that, but. <laughs> 